Welcome, welcome to Pass the Peas. Where's this you and me, baby? On this journey of self-discovery together. And by the way, I'm your host, Dante. And on today's episode of Pass the Peas, we're going to discuss passion unleashed. You know, it's that moment when you decide to pursue something that sets your soul on fire. I'm excited to share my personal journey with you. I hope you are ready to hear all about it. Because today, like I said, we're diving into the topic that's close to my heart. Passion. I've always been sheltered. But there comes a time when you realize there's something more out there waiting for you if you just step out of your comfort zone. For me, that was basketball, then music, and now here I am, podcasting. So we're going to jump into all of that, and we're going to sit back, and we're going to check it chill, you know what I mean, And, and, and discuss some things. So let's get into it, baby. All the sacrifices and the sleepless nights where they serve me well. Only time will tell. I just keep on praying that I'll find my way. If I go through hell, only time will tell, only time will tell. To get a little more personal with it, I've always been a bit sheltered. Keeping to myself is my thing. That's what I do. You know what I mean? I know very few people, like, person on a personal level. A, a lot of people may see me. I see a lot of people around the city or whatever, but people that know me, it's a very small number. You know what I mean? Or that come to my house or, you know, something like that. I'm just sheltered. You know what I mean? I, I stay close. But there comes a time when you realize that there's something waiting for you outside. You know what I mean? Outside your comfort zone. And for me, that was basketball and that was music. Like the art of storytelling. From a young age. I found solace in the power of words. Um, I understood that words were powerful, and it, and it's all about the interpretation and how people understand them. And if I think of um, people that go outside their comfort zone. And <clears throat> fall into their passion. It's it 
it seems like that's where you get the best of the best when someone is extremely passionate about what they're doing. When their passions are unleashed. It took me a while. But one day I decided to break free from my shell. And here I am doing a podcast. Um, expressing, trying to use those same words that I understood was powerful back when I was a kid. And trying to just reach people with um, <clears throat> just my story. Or if it's not only my story, it's um, just stories, and, you know, of everyday people. And I'm going to go on a journey beyond my comfort zone. And I think that's where I'm going. (sighs) I want this podcast to be uh, a place where we can explore the journey of discovering passions, purpose, and personal growth. You know? I'm excited to share my story, and I want to hear other stories um, from people who have unleashed their passions. Um, And I just want to take you on a journey of discovering my passion for storytelling, whether that be um, rapping, reading books, just telling my personal stories, because I got some stories. You know, um, for example, I'm, I have a, a strong passion for hats. I love hats, fitted hats, um, non-fitted snapbacks. I just love baseball caps. I ain't even a baseball fan. But, um, and I'm from Cincinnati, so my favorite hat is a Cincinnati Reds hat. But I like um, Oakland Raiders hats. I like Detroit Tigers. I like NBA hats, football hats, basketball hats. I just love hats, you know? And um, it's funny because my my children think I wear hats because I'm going bald. And that's not the case in that. One day, we found an old picture of me. Got it from one of my relatives. Found an old picture of me. I had to be probably 10, 11, 12 years old. Um, And I had a baseball hat on, a Nike hat. And I was like, see, I told you, I always wear hats. That's that's what I do. So this is a little something. (laughs) about the passion and I got a wall, a special wall in my room right now with nothing but hats. You know, and even with with that I still got hats all over the place. I just love baseball hats, man, and that's always gonna be a go to gift <laughs> for me. Uh <laughs> if anybody out there listening. But, you know, it goes on and on. I can go on with move on to basketball or move on to music, which all of those places um, is very passionate. I'm very passionate about. What people don't understand is passion is a powerful force. And, and low key, it gives life meaning and purpose. See, I want I want to talk about what passion means to different people, because um, and, and it could be explained in different ways, you know, like a crime of passion. <laughs> that sounds pretty juicy, huh? 
I want to hear it. I want to hear it and go through stories of different individuals who found their passion and how it transformed their lives. I, I also want to hear from hear those stories about people who drowned in passion and it ruined their lives. You know? Think about that crazy ex-husband that just couldn't get over that woman. And, and in the crime of passion, he, he strangled her and her new boyfriend because he just couldn't take the fact of her being with another guy. You know? It's like, it's crazy, man. And, and like I said, passion is a powerful force. Oh man, let's let's let's, let's think about Lil Wayne and his passion for music, his passion for for rapping and the art. It is, it's crazy. I mean, it, it reflects in everything. It shows his work ethic. He's um, still relevant. It, it feels like 30 years later. Like, I mean, what more can you say? When you, when you look at somebody like Beyonce, who was extremely passionate about their, their art and their, their performance, and how they do things, Usher is another one. Like these people are are extremely they they have unleashed their passion and they're and they're excelling in in what they do. Like if I sit and I close my eyes. I can still see myself, the 11-year-old Dante, wanting to do nothing, absolutely nothing at all, but play basketball. If I wasn't playing basketball, I was flipping through my binder, which was a three-ring Maybe a five ring binder full of basketball cards. Everybody you can think of. I had Magic Johnson rookie card. I had Michael Jordan college North Carolina card. I had Michael sheets and pages of Michael Jordan cards. Pages of Akeem Olajuwon cards, Charles Barkley cards. I had everybody cards. I mean, I think that was just a thing for boys back then, but uh, I had a friend that had like five times the amount of cards that I had. So me and him would often trade, even though he probably had everything I, did, I had. And more, he would still trade with me sometimes. Or we would get new cards and just trade with each other. So, you know, and it was all focused around basketball. And fortunate enough for me, there was a, about eight to ten other boys in the neighborhood that um, was down to play. And we played basketball like we was getting paid for it. Hours and hours and hours every single day. One day at school, I uh, was at recess when we were playing um, football, tag football, whatever. And um, I went up to tag somebody and for whatever reason, my big hands went in opposite directions and I tagged somebody um, going downward with my wrist and fractured my wrist, my right wrist. I had to get a cast on my hand. It was devastating. 
I couldn't, I couldn't understand. Oh my goodness! All I could think is I can't play basketball now. <laughs> I didn't care about anything else. I just knew that I was right-handed, and how in the world am I gonna shoot with a cast on my hand? And I really can't remember. I think I may have sat down a couple of days. But I know after about two days, I was determined to learn how to shoot with my left hand. And I taught myself every day, step by step, how to control the ball with my left hand. Just how to control it. How to, how to bounce it with my left hand. It's amazing how much you don't do with your left hand that you do with your right hand. And I and I kinda taught myself how to do that. And eventually I can shoot a jumper with my left hand. Still to this day. And I bust your ass. Don't play with me. Anyway. But I was just so passionate and and so thirsty to play it was it was something I truly loved and I just wanted to be a part of it I don't I didn't want to sit back and watch eventually that same thing happened to me with music it's like it's all around so that's what I'm trying to say like there's different passions in people it's not you don't have to just be passionate about one thing you can you can i mean i think it's important to explore your passion but anyway that transition to music for me and i just fell deep into music i love music everything about it different genres i love all kinds of different music um i worked at a place one time and they played everything i would never hear <laughs> in my areas or where I'm from or whatever. But I know all of those songs and I would dance to them and get jiggy with it, you know what I mean? Because I just might have liked the beat of the song or whatever. <laughs> Which brings me to the beats. Um, and, I, and I fell deep into wanting to understand how to make music how to make music how do you do this so i went out and i bought all the equipment <laughs> and i thought like having that cast on my left on my right hand as a 12 year old how can i teach can i teach myself so i just started trying to teach myself I, I bought fl studio I, I bought a midi keyboard i bought a sound card, I bought a microphone, I bought all of these things. And I'm like, I'm going to sit in my basement and teach myself about this thing that I'm so passionate in. And I sit there and I listen to music and all I can hear is the beat. I can really barely hear the, the artists. I hear the beat first, initially. So I decided to explore that. Then I found podcasts. And I and I sit there and I listen to so many different podcasts all day, every day. That's what I do. I love them. I love the fact that there's so many different kinds. You can almost find a podcast for any topic you thinking about you might just want to find a podcast with somebody because it's cool to listen to them while you driving to work or something they help you focus I don't know might be something in their voice whatever I don't know I love podcasts so here I am again <laughs> thinking I can teach myself uh, the ropes and um Saying if I can get on out there and get involved in something that, that I love, you know. And I think that's what um, 
compassion does to people. It makes you, um, it makes you want to get out there and showcase to the world your love for this game. But, you know, I imagine that's how Denzel Washington or Will Smith feel about acting, you know, like. Hey, straight up, for real. Thank you for joining me on this intimate episode of Pass the Peace. Remember, your passion is a force waiting to be unleashed. And in the next episode, we'll continue exploring purpose and personal growth. Until then, stay passionate. And uh, keep your boy in prayer. And I'll get back with y'all. Peace. Only time will tell. Only time will tell.